Out where they say, let us be gay. I'm going Hollywood. I'll valley who things to you. I'm going Hollywood. Say hey, while you sleepy hands are in that hay. I'll be dancing. I'm gonna be dancing with a sun kiss, baby, and I'm on my way. Here's my beret. I'm going Hollywood. Hi there, I'm David Duncan and welcome to Bing Crosby, The Hollywood Years. 1935 is the year and Bing has already finished another film by the end of January. It's his first attempt at a costume picture, this one set back in the Old South. With a musical score by Richard Rogers and Lorenz Hart, Mississippi turns out to be one of his finest films up to this date. Co-starring the legendary W.C. Fields and with Joan Bennett as the love interest, Mississippi has been playing Tom Grayson, a gentleman from the East who's engaged to the daughter of a wealthy plantation owner in the South. Now we must be contented with schemes about the two of us. Yet we can have our sweet set of dreams that will come true of us for presently and pleasantly. Our hearts will be in tune so soon. Maybe not tomorrow, but soon. On the night of their engagement party, Bing's character is challenged to a duel, but he refuses. Will you name your weapon? I have no intention of dueling with you, sir. Simply because you're annoyed at my good luck. Then it's my right to brand you as a coward. You can go ahead and brand me anything you like. This is all very ridiculous to me. Come on, Elvira. I've never been so humiliated in my life. What are my friends going to think of me if you won't defend me? Now this brings shame upon the family and Tom is forced to leave. I'll never get over the disgrace you have brought on this house. Well, I'm very sorry, General, but I just Don't can't... you understand the meaning of the word honor? I thought I did, yes. But if it means killing a man I've never seen before and against whom I haven't any grievance, then I don't. You will leave this plantation tonight, sir. The younger sister to Tom's fiance, played by Joan Bennett, thinks that refusing the jewel was a sensible thing to do and professes her love to Tom. Will you kiss me goodbye? And kiss me like you're never going to see me anymore. Because maybe that's the way it's going to be. After leaving the plantation, Bing gets a job as a singer on a showboat run by W.C. Fields and he tries to put the past behind him. May you be with me on the showboat as long as you live. Well, I hope I proved to be more of a success than I was at the plantation. <coughs> oh. That's the spirit, my boy. Remember, a dead fish can float downstream, but it takes a live fish to swim up. Well, I'd like to have a drink on that. No, nope. no more. You've had enough. Remember your voice. I'll be there for you. I am the river. Unfortunately, circumstances lead to a barroom brawl where he's forced to defend himself and ends up killing a local heavy. that platform and get off quick. Uh, would you please sit down? You're asking me to sit down? Well, unless you're leaving, yes. Sit down. Do you moan and hyena? Every breath that you take from now on will be a personal present from me. Sit down. You dirty chicken livered yellow purple. Now the fight scene is very realistic and is one of the few times that Bing has seen acting such a physical role in a film.
After the fight, W.C. Fields promotes Bing's character as the singing killer, and his fame grows, which attracts large crowds to the showboat. Carl Steele, the singing killer, singing on my shoe boat every night. It's at this time that Joan Bennett's character meets up again with Tom and chastises him for becoming just another gunslinging southerner. Lucy, are we going to lose each other again just over a pack of lies? Lies? Yes. I never want to see your face again. But he proves to her that it's all just for show, and in the end, they happily sail off down the Mississippi together. For presently and it's a beautiful film with good performances by all, especially W.C. Fields, and the songs are truly first rate with Bing in great voice. In fact, here's Bing remembering his experience. I had a lot of fun making a movie called Mississippi because Bill Fields was in it. Oh, I could a tale unfold about this fellow, but, uh, well, that's another record. There were some fine tunes in Mississippi, naturally Rogers and Hart. I can still remember how elated I was when Paramount signed them. As mentioned, Rogers and Hart wrote the score that included Soon, Down by the River, and the big hit, It's Easy to Remember. Your sweet expression, the smile you gave me, the way you look when we met. So hard to forget. Now Bing also sings a wonderful version of the Stephen Foster classic Old Folks at Home, which was retitled Swanee River. Why don't you join them, Tom? Oh, why spoil it? Won't you for me? At the time filming began in late 1934, Bing was basking in his success and by way of reward, and to use his own words, was giving the local ice cream shop a bit of a workout. Now it was only six months before that Bing had finally won the war of not having to tape his ears back, but unfortunately, due to his gaining weight, he now had to endure the discomfort of taping his belly back by way of a girdle. His embarrassment, though, led to a strict diet that quickly shed the pounds and he kept a slim figure for the rest of his life. Well, upon release, the reviews were mixed, but the film made a pot of money for Paramount and they quickly renewed his contract for another three years. Also, Joan Bennett proved a success opposite Bing in Mississippi, so they cast her again in his next film, Two for Tonight. This world belongs to Two for tonight, birds sing their songs too. Two for tonight. Two for tonight is a funny little film. I say little as it's the shortest of all Bing's feature films. Running at just over 60 minutes, it's hard to believe there's enough time to develop a story, which turns out to be true. There isn't much of a story to talk about, and the film should have been much better. It's directed by Frank Tuttle, who had worked with Bing on the big broadcast, and Here Is My Heart. It was also photographed by leading cinematographer Carl Struss, and a good lineup of songs by Mac Gordon and Harry Ravel. Well, how could it miss? But it does. I mean, now that's not to say it's not enjoyable to Crosby fans. to know what's a lovely honeymoon for takes two to make a bargain 
What's the answer, baby? It seems like nearly every few minutes Bing is singing another song, and between these songs, we have amusing sight gags and situations. The funniest being a throwback to the silent comedy days where a soda bottle fight breaks out in a nightclub. You're the state champion. Now I like to think of it as a, an extended Max Senate comedy short, similar to the ones being made back in 1931. You have that indefinable something. Now whilst there are no big hit songs in the film, they're all really pleasant to listen to and help contribute to good record sales for the year. Coach, proceed. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, you're beautiful. Yes and baby, what's more, life is heavenly in your caress. From the top of your head to the tip of your toes, wonderful. You're the hit of the show, cameo of loveliness. Without a word of warning, my life has begun. Without. Now the executives realised that they might have a turkey on their hands and even considered not releasing the film, but they agreed that Bing seemed to be box office gold, so if he succeeded in this, then he'd succeed in anything. As it happened, when Two for Tonight was released literally a few weeks after completion, it turned a handsome profit for the studio and was even held over at several theatres for extended runs. I wouldn't want to be Rip Van Wiggle I'd only want to be the only one in your heart Today, Two for Tonight is largely forgotten and you know, probably deservedly so. But this lies in contrast to Mississippi, which has since become a firm favourite amongst not only Crosby fans, but fans of W.C. Fields as well. Now between making these two films, Bing also had a brief appearance in the big broadcast of 1936, which featured him singing I Wished on the Moon. And it's on that note that we leave 1935. I'm David Duncan, see you next time on Bing Crosby, The Hollywood Years. I wished on the moon For something I never knew I never knew I wished on the moon For more than I
it all.